A fourth wave. COVID cases on the rise in all 50 states. Now, there's a heated debate over mask mandates and if they need to come back. And share the road. MLK Drive has surged in popularity during the pandemic for runners and bikers. So today, the city is announcing when the cars come back. And preparing for launch later this morning, the world's richest man will ride his own rocket into space. How he and his crew are feeling ahead of their historic voyage to the stars. NBC 10 News starts now. Good morning. You're watching NBC 10 News today. I'm Erin Coleman. And I'm Lucy Bustamante. Thanks for being with us on this Tuesday. Let's get right over to NBC 10 meteorologist Bill Henley with your first alert forecast. We got a hot one on the books. Yes, yes a nice sunshine will be nice and bright and a quick warm up this morning. The temperatures are in the 70s right now for most neighborhoods, including Center City. It's a live view from the Kimmel Center in Center City. We're at 75 degrees. Thankfully, at Dew Point, it's still in the 60s. That's some dry air, and we've got the northwesterly wind out at six miles an hour, keeping the humidity low this morning. 60s for Bluebell, Coatesville, and Allentown, 67 in Millville, right in the low 70s for Wilmington and Trenton. Once the sun is up, it will indeed be a quick warm up to 92 degrees this afternoon, mostly sunny skies and a light breeze out of the west at six miles an hour. Near 90 in the Lehigh Valley, low 90s for the suburbs, South Jersey and Delaware too, while the Jersey Shore heads up to 85 degrees. If you have plans for the Lehigh Valley or Delaware, when I come back in just a few minutes, I'll break today's forecast down hour by hour. Ladies? All right, Bill, thanks for that. And now to this story, the fourth wave of this pandemic is here. That is according to health leaders in the South. Some hospitals, they are bracing for a jump in COVID cases, unlike anything that we have seen yeah. in months. It's all because of the Delta variant and the unvaccinated, and we're not immune here in Philadelphia. The acting health commissioner says the city is starting to see, quote, a small but real increase in cases most likely from the Delta variant. The doctor does say our relatively high vaccination rates will help to protect us. New Jersey's governor is hesitant to move back to wearing masks. He spoke out about that decision yesterday. Here's what he said. We, we continue to be comfortable with where we are, but we watch this, Judy, I don't want to speak for you and Ed, but we watch this like a hawk. Um, and our strong, strong, strong preference is to not go back. New Jersey's health commissioner says she's worried about young children who cannot get vaccinated. The governor says the state will follow whatever recommendations come from the experts. So when can we stop wearing masks? And if you're vaccinated, do you need one? These are questions that we're getting all the time. So we went to our medical expert, Dr. Arnold Baskies. Wear a mask if you feel you want to or you need to. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you've been fully vaccinated, it probably isn't going to add some significant amount of protection. The doctor says the virus will decide when the pandemic's over unless we fight back with shots. Well, as COVID cases continue to climb in the United States and around the world, the markets are reacting in a very big way. Let's take a look. The Dow had the worst day since the month of October. Look at this, guys. It dropped by 725 points. And experts say investors are getting spooked about this Delta variant and how it's going to slow the worldwide economic recovery. And now an update to a story that we brought to you yesterday as breaking news. The women's gymnastics team is moving out of the Olympic Village and into a hotel because of COVID. The team feels that it can better control safety issues in a hotel instead of the village. So this comes after gymnast Kara Aker tested positive. She's an alternate for the women's gymnastics team and says that she is asymptomatic after the positive test. She is 18 from Kansas City area, vaccinated two months ago. Aker's fellow alternate Leanne Wong also in isolation, but she is negative so far. And as you know, our very own Keith Jones was sent us this video back from near the hotel in Tokyo. Normally these streets are bustling with people, but because the area is home to major companies like Sony and Honda, as you can see though, it's just empty, completely empty. Remember, Tokyo is under a state of emergency because of the rise in infections of COVID and really the low vaccination rates in Tokyo. So with the opening ceremony now just three days away, stay with NBC10 and the NBC10 app for all of your Olympic coverage. We're going to have updates on COVID cases and, of course, live coverage from Tokyo from Keith starting tomorrow morning. You do not want to miss that. Yeah, it's going to be good.
All right. Well, today we are learning about the plan to reopen Martin Luther King Drive to those cars. It may come as a disappointment to runners and walkers yeah. and bicyclists who've had the road all to themselves <laughs> since the start of the <laughs> pandemic. NBC 10's Randy Jones Hall is live on the drive. Uh, Randy, some people wanted the road to stay closed for good. Yeah, and maybe a compromise with bike lanes or more room for those runners. But today, the city of Philadelphia will announce its plans as they reopen MLK Drive in August. You know, the closure led to this boom in bicycle use in the city. Walkers, runners, people getting outside during the pandemic. Over here, you can see MLK Drive still closed, but starting in August, the popular road will be back open for cars, traffic, trying to avoid the Schuylkill Expressway. It's all led to this debate over the future of MLK Drive along the west side of the Schuylkill River. The pandemic led to this surge in active transportation. Things like scooters and e-bikes also surging. On one side, people want to keep it closed to reduce carbon footprints and get people a, pla a safe place to exercise. But drivers have long complained about the traffic during the pandemic. And as the city reopens, that traffic may get worse along 76. Councilman Curtis Jones was the one pushing the road to reopen after complaints from neighbors who want to use it to drive while bicyclists say they just want more protection from busy traffic. They don't have to run across the streets with motor vehicles. They don't have to, you know, worry about uh, trash trucks getting in their way. It's just for people. It's annoying. It's a lot of traffic. And Philly already has enough traffic in the world. You know what I mean? Well, as a compromise, the Bicycle Coalition of Greater Philadelphia has been pushing to add protected bike lanes similar to these ones you see here for more space for walkers, runners, and more. But so far, the city has kept quiet on its plans. We could learn more today at noon. They're set to give a briefing on the future of MLK Drive. For now, we're live uh, near the Art Museum. I'm Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC10 News. All right, Randy, thanks for that. And then some more breaking news this morning for you. Someone shot three people near a playground in West Philadelphia. Victims told police that the shooter was wearing a Rastafian style wig and a hat, but they didn't get a good look at his face. Police found one guy at the scene near 51st and Westminster. Two other people got themselves to the hospital. Now police tell us that not one of those injuries is life threatening. Philadelphia is on pace to have the deadliest year on record. It is so bad that some people say the mayor needs to declare a state of emergency. But Mayor Kenny says that is not going to happen. Take a look at part of the letter that he sent to Councilman Jamie Gauthier. So Mayor Kenny wrote in part that an emergency declaration is, quote, not a solution that will dem demonstrably change conditions in Philly. He also said that calls for the declaration are meant to unlock additional resources. But he says... That's already happening with more than $150 million in the 2022 budget. So this issue came up after New York Governor Andrew Cuomo issued a gun violence state of emergency earlier in the month. It's the first of its kind in the country. And the move is meant to free up more money and resources to handle the surge in violence. Meanwhile, check out this new video. It shows the problem facing Philly. It captured a drive-by shooting that hurt a one-year-old, a little boy, over the weekend. He was with his mom at a corner store in West Philadelphia. And you can see, look at the bullets, guys. You can see when the shooting starts, everyone runs out. Little boy was hit in his leg. A man was also hit in the arm. The DA actually got emotional talking about it. An approximately one-year-old child was shot one time in his left leg. At 50th and Haverford. Excuse me. Little boy is recovering in the hospital. The shooter is still out there. It is 4.07 right now. Camden begins the process of laying one of its historic leaders to rest today. Gwendolyn Faison will lie in repose at Antioch Baptist Church this <laughs> afternoon. Faison was the first female mayor elected in the city. She passed away last weekend at 96. Her funeral is tomorrow. President Biden's infrastructure plan will face a key test. Majority Leader Senator Chuck Schumer has set a vote for tomorrow on the proposal. The Republicans may shut it down. They see that this bill still not finalized and a vote to begin debate on it is premature. But the big issue is how to pay for the $1 trillion dollar plan. 
All right. Well, we are now just hours away from the second leg of the billionaire space race. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos is going to rush to the edge of space aboard his Blue Origin rocket yeah. later this morning. The launch is set for 9 a.m. in Texas. There's a little countdown right there. You can see it going. Blue Origin <laughs> flew 15 unmanned test flights to get ready for this, to get ready for today. So it's the first time someone will be in the rocket for liftoff. Bezos and three others, they're going to soar 62 miles in the air and get three weightless minutes before then coming back to Earth. Now, there's one big difference, a, a pretty huge difference between this flight and Virgin Galactic's trip to space last weekend. There's no pilot on board this one. Wow. Sir Richard Branson had two of them, but this spacecraft will be controlled from Earth. Both companies eventually plan to carry paying passengers into space. You can look for a special report where you can watch the launch live right here on NBC10. NBC10 uh, has the crew live at the launch site in Texas. I'm NBC10 First Alert Meteorologist Bill Henley off to a pretty nice start this morning. Humidity is down, our skies are mostly clear, so the temperatures are falling. 67 degrees right now, just a hint of a breeze at three miles an hour in Allentown. That humidity, 87%. Will be dropping during the day, but the temperature is climbing rapidly. Look at this sunshine. 79 degrees at 10 o'clock this morning by lunchtime, 84 and 86 degrees at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Nice sunny day ahead for Delaware and South Jersey. Right now, things are pretty quiet in Delaware. No sign of those clouds that were stuck around for the area yesterday for much of the day. 68 degrees in Stanton. Wilmington right now is 70. Delaware City is at 73 degrees and into the low 70s for Clayton. Just dropped into the 60s for Smyrna and Dover. The temperatures will come down a kind of a couple degrees, but once that sunshine is up, it's going to be a fast warm up today. Afternoon temperatures will head into the upper 80s by 1 o'clock this afternoon. And getting close to that 90 degree mark at 2 o'clock factor in the humidity at 2 o'clock won't be extreme humidity, but enough to make it feel like it's in the low 90s early in the afternoon. So stand by with your sunglasses, your sunblock, and uh, uh, steaminess. That's going to be on tap for tomorrow. Late in the day, there's some showers and thunderstorms coming through in the afternoon. Less likely in the Lehigh Valley, those showers done by Thursday and look at those cooler temperatures Thursday afternoon low 80s with low humidity and I'll show you how long that's going to stick around with your 10 day on 10 water back in just a few minutes but right now it's 410 Katie Zachary is in the first alert traffic center low humidity that got everyone's attention thanks Bill things are starting out on the quiet side for most of our coverage area this is a live look along the Schuylkill Expressway both directions of 76 right at Montgomery Drive you will find that long-term construction pattern between Montgomery Drive and Girard Avenue whichever way you're going east or westbound on uh, the Schuylkill Expressway but I just checked there's no volume to really add any delays. 95 southbound, where we do see some delays later in the morning, you're running fine. 12 minutes between Woodhaven and the Vine Street Expressway. 11 minutes if you're headed in the northbound direction. A live look at our majors throughout our area. Green means good. No issues to hang you up too much. A little bit um, of construction that we're watching on 295 northbound at Creek Road. That's exit 43. Two lanes are blocked there, but that should lift around 6 a.m. And then usually the rush picks up later. All so, right. Feel bad. Thanks. Means good. That's it. I love that. Now <laughs> coming up. <laughs> Rushing to the rescue. Oh. Did you see that? Oh, an 84-year-old man saw this. The car flipped right in front of his eyes in Philly. Wait until you hear what he did to save the driver. 84-year-old man plus a haze overhead. You're going to notice hazy skies when you look up this week. How something happening thousands of miles away is triggering alerts here in our area. Floors during Empire today's gigantic 75% off sale. That's carpet, hardwood, vinyl, and laminate. 75% off. Empire makes getting beautiful new floors easy. See samples in your home. Get a free estimate and have your floors professionally installed. Update your floors with Empire and get 75% off carpet, hardwood, vinyl, and laminate. Schedule now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. This is NBC 10 News. And it is almost 4.15. And now to a story about a real-life hero for you. A man in West Philly says... 
automatic reflexes sent him running right up to a crash that happened before his...